how do you define domestic violence? It's been defined in various ways over the last several decades as we've started to work on the issue. There's a, a power and control wheel that's widely used across the country and around the world. The center is power and control. Around the outsides are the physical violence, sexual violence, but there are a variety of other non-physical types of manipulation that go on to coerce people to do what you want them to do. We've moved on in, the, in studying the issue. Over the years, we've come to more of a definition, what we call coercive control. It's a pattern that happens over time and uses a variety of these methods of coercion to uh, get somebody to do what you want them to do, sometimes without violence, sometimes just with the threat of violence hanging over the relationship or the family, sometimes with occasional use of violence or frequent use of violence. So it's not defined as a single incident of violence, but a pattern of coercive control over another person. There can be homes in which violence doesn't occur very often. And maybe it's not very severe, but it's terribly frightening to the child when it happens. And it seems to come out of nowhere because they're not used to it. And so when it happens, they don't know when it's going to happen again or what's going to make it happen again or when it's going to come. And they're just afraid, not knowing, not predicting, just kind of walking on eggshells because they have no control over its emergence. Research tells us that even in those homes where there's minimal domestic violence, it may be just just a push um, or a hit, that even those children are negatively affected. They are at greater risk for having mental health problems than children in homes where psychological and physical abuse does not occur between the parents. Mm -hmm.